Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of Mod Daisy. And today we've got an update for you. As you know, if you've watched much of this channel, uh, we're heavily involved with modifying Daisy Red Riders. Uh, what we've got on the bench right now is a uh, number 111 model 40 slash 27. That means this gun has had the sliding spring block adapter installed on it. This gun has also been around the country and has visited Ohio and California, where I've sent it out for evaluation from uh, trusted individuals that I know in the DAISY game in the United States. Their uh, input has been used and we brought it back here and have continued our experiments. Uh, one thing that I really like about this platform is it's modular. Uh, that's not the case with the current model 1938B because you cannot just pull out a shot tube and stick another shot tube in. You're stuck with what the factory put in there. Uh, but because the earlier gun has a threaded abutment washer and was built for shot tubes. There are things you can do to shot tubes that you can't do with the current gun. Uh, my favorite shot tube of the bunch is the Model 25. And the reason that I favor the Model 25 is because, if you'll notice down here at the base, it's fully threaded, as opposed to the shot tube up here where you'll notice there's a space where there's no threads. Now, that's done on purpose by Daisy so that this can rotate after it's been inserted in the abutment washer so that the uh, muzzle cap and the BB trap can be oriented properly for use in a shake and bake rattle trap type daisy. The Model 25 is a spring loaded magazine, doesn't require that. But the key, the key thing is it will securely seat itself in the abutment and give you a nice tight air seal. Now, of all the tricks we've used with these daisies to get the speed up, uh, one of the neatest things to do is to overbore an air tube. So this gun has just been, I just finished getting all the tooling necessary to do this work. Uh, this gun now has a 764 overbore air tube. You'll notice the diameter of the hole on this tube up here is much greater than the factory standard seamless air tube is. And that allows more volume of air to be pushed down the air tube. And the theory is, the more air you can push down the air tube, the faster the BB can go. Well, like everything else in the world, here at Restomod, we don't like taking other people's word for stuff. So we've conducted quite a bit of testing. I know that that's probably not the easiest thing for you to see uh, on the internet. But we'll scan it real quick so that if you want to freeze frame, you can go back and look at the data. But I've set this gun up with three different springs. A model 499, low power spring used in a target gun. I like it because it makes the cocking action of the gun super smooth and easy, and you can shoot them super fast. The drawback is you can't, the BBs don't move that fast, so it isn't really applicable for a long range work or for targets that you want to shoot completely through. You can certainly hit an adult beverage with it, beverage can with it, and it will rattle, but it will not penetrate. The standard Red Rider spring, which gets you up into the 250 foot a second range, and the spring that's currently in it, which is a Cobalt 327 Super Spring, which pushed this gun way out, way out, to uh, an amazing to me 354 feet a second with the overbore air tube installed. So, this one gun with the sliding spring block, three different main springs, and an overbore air tube can run anywhere from a low range with the weak spring and a bottle cap shot tube of about 82 feet a second to a high speed range with the model 25 shot tube and the super spring of about 354 feet a second. And that's a tremendous difference in power, which means that the uh, user and owner of a Resto Mod number 111 model 4027 has the ability to tune his gun for the shooter that's gonna be using it. Young kids like easy cocking guns. And when you're su supervising young shooters, you don't really want those BBs moving fast in case there's an incident. Uh, but then you can power it up as they grow older and get more capable. And then you've got the grandpa spring that's in this gun right now that'll wallop the daylight out of anything you shoot it at. Three guns in one, neat concept. And we're going to continue to pursue that and explore it and refine it some more. So, 764 overbore air tube, Cobalt 327 Super Spring, 350 feet plus out of this old number 111 Model 40 slash 27. That's all we've got for you today, kids. Shane Bruce, Rest of My Daisy, signing off.